Hello, I'm Andy Dobson, Principal of Kidderminster College, and I'd like to welcome you to the College and to this short video, which will give you a lot of information about the opportunities, support and services available to you. I'd like to encourage you to make the most of the opportunities on offer, and I hope that you really enjoy your time learning with us. Good luck, and if you see me around the College, please do say hello and let me know how you're getting on. Hello, my name is Victoria Ditton. I'm the Learner Services Manager. You're going to see a short film about the services and facilities here at the College. And at the end, there will be a short film about safeguarding. If you have any concerns about safeguarding, please come and see one of the officers. Thanks. The Bursary Scheme is a government initiative to provide financial assistance whilst you are studying. We encourage all learners to apply as soon as possible, so please make an appointment with Learner Services. You can apply for help towards the costs of uniform and kit, travel assistance, childcare, educational visits and books. You can also apply for help towards your tuition fees if applicable. The bursary is means tested on household income and you would need to provide evidence of this, for example wage slips or benefit notifications. We are more than happy to assist you with your application and appointments are available throughout September. Here at the college you can find lots of information about careers. This is anything from booking an appointment for one-to-one -one guidance, accessing resources on the VLE to checking out our job vacancy board which includes lots of voluntary job information. We offer workshops throughout the year, keep an eye out for these and your tutor will be able to advise you. You can book appointments at Learner Services or come down to room 046 on the ground floor. Alternatively email careers at kidderminster.ac.uk for any information or to book an appointment. We can help with UCAS application forms, personal statement writing, finance for higher education, job hunting, application forms, interview guidance such as mock interviews. It is up to you to take advantage of these resources to help you with your journey. Welcome to the Learning Resource Centre. We're here to support and to help you succeed on your course. Um, in the LRC you can study on your own or in a group, you can make use of the PCs, you can borrow and use our laptops, you can print, copy or scan, you can borrow books, DVDs and headphones. We also sell USBs and CDs. We run workshops to help you with assignment writing and study skills and we're a friendly and approachable team and are always happy to help. In Learner Services we are the first point of contact and take requests from you for council tax certificates, travel passes, enrolments, course inquiries, payments for trips and shows and also finance queries. Sometimes we need to contact other departments on your behalf and we work closely with support services to provide you with a good service. The newly opened cafe on the first floor offers snacks, lunches, refreshments and during term time the cafe has extended opening hours into the evening. Learners, members of the public and parents can take advantage of hair and beauty treatments at our professional salon where we offer cuts, styling, massages, facials, reflexology and lots of holistic treatments. Prices are really competitive and sometimes there are free promotions. We have extensive IT facilities at the college which includes dedicated spaces in the Learning Resource Centre and computer suite. 
you will be given an IT Access account and we ask that you follow college policies about its use. We have access to lots of information online and as a learner you can get this by going onto the college's intranet. This is particularly useful when you need to access information outside of college. There are websites and packages for careers, university applications, student finance and college policies and procedures. Sometimes you may not receive the service you are expecting and as a result may need to complain. There are a few ways of doing this. If you have a concern about your studies, you need to make your tutor aware. If it is about the college in general, please speak to the Learner Services Manager, Victoria, who will be able to listen to your concerns and hope to help resolve them. As part of this college community, we ask that you are aware of acting responsibly. There are lifts at the college, but we ask that you are mindful when there are essential users that need to access the lifts. When the fire alarm rings, please exit the building and wait in the car park adjacent to the college until you are given permission to re-enter. If you need first aid, please come to Learner Services where we will ask a member of staff to assist. These are trained first aiders. Do not attempt first aid yourself. If you lose any property, such as coats, mobile phones or folders, please speak to our Estates Office, which is located on the ground floor along the long corridor the Estates team would do everything they can to assist. Smoking is not allowed in the college and in the yellow marked areas around it. Please do not upset the neighbours. Be mindful that others do not like the smell of smoke and if you drop butts and litter, you could be fined up to £75. During lessons, you are not permitted to use mobile phones. Please be mindful that learners around you are studying, particularly in public areas such as the library or computer suite. There are lots of recreational areas around the college for you to enjoy your free time. Finally, get involved. There are lots of opportunities for you to get involved and enjoy yourself at college make the most of your experience. We offer volunteering placements at the college and in the local community, the Duke of Edinburgh Awards Scheme, the Learner Council where you can express your views and there are also free sports activities that you can take advantage of. I thought I knew. I knew who she was. I thought I knew that she liked me. That we had something special. I mean, our profiles were so similar. And we loved chatting to each other.
got carried away. I thought it was cool to see her pictures and to send her mine. I thought it was exciting. Especially when she said she wanted to meet up. It was dirty and it hurt. <laughs> I didn't know who I'd been talking to. He said that if I didn't go with him, he'd show everyone the pictures, even my mates. So I went. I didn't think I had a choice. Didn't think I could tell anybody. Then I remembered the website from school. I wish I had known that it could have been different. But there is someone you can tell. Someone who can make it stop. Make them stop. Now I know you can do something. You don't have to let it get out of control. Because you see, I thought I knew. Sweet.